Hey, some friends, welcome back to my channel. I'm symptomistic, like optimistic, but make it sims. We're going to do something a little different this time. I hope you guys bear with me. But I'm trying out scenarios because I've, I've never tried them. They've been here for a long time and I've just never touched them. And this scenario was about to expire. And yes, it is expired by the time this video comes out. But I think Twisted Mexi has a mod where you can play scenarios that have expired or never have them expire. So definitely check that out. And yeah, this video kind of has an outcome that I'm not happy about. But if you're interested in seeing someone play scenarios, just follow along. I went over what's already in here. Like, but basically, long story short, it's a cookout. I think the scenario came out to celebrate Juneteenth. And I didn't play this till Labor Day weekend because I just, I again, I don't play scenarios very much or never have. It's my first shot. And clearly, I'm like thumbing through things because I am confused how these scenarios work. So first of all, I had to restart my game several times because I thought when I clicked existing that it would take me to like my different saves, but it just takes me to the like resume save. And so first of all, if you don't know who that cute baby is, She's part of my family dynamics challenge that you should watch. Playlists are linked. And I thought, yeah, I could just click into any save. But no, I have to have the save already loaded up and click to resume that. Not even click to resume. Once I click existing, then it will resume within that save. But yeah, just so you know, you can't have like you don't you can't do it the other way around. And for those of you that are not familiar with my channel and are new here, I have this thing called the Founders. It's kind of like a save challenge, the Founders save challenge. And essentially you wipe out everything in the game, all the bills, all the lots, all the households, wipe it out. And you act like people are moving to a new save file for a particular reason. So all these Sims have backstories that will also be linked. And so I chose to play the scenario with one particular household from that save file. I wanted to just continue with a sim I already had. So when you open up into the scenario, there is the cookout information. You can get the details of the scenario again if you didn't fully read them or you forgot because you take breaks between playing. And so everything pops up on the screen. We'll go more into it. But if you are an OG sim friend, you know who this man is. This is Jacob. He is beloved amongst my OG Sim friends. Like he was one of the first LPs on my channel. And this is him and his girlfriend, Carissa. And they have moved into this save file, into the founder's world, because, you know, they've just graduated college. They're in their careers. They're both in education. Carissa is like working in the dean's office. And Jacob is a professor or like starting out as a professor. This is their this is their home. I was about to say their apartment, but this is their home. It is in Newcrest. It was, I think it was a starter home. I can't recall, but if you want to know where I got it from on the gallery, let me know and I will find the link and I will share it with you all. And one of the requirements for the cookout was that they had to buy something. They already had a barbecue out front. And they had to buy something. So I bought that radio that they can take outside. Often in my save files, I give my Sims a summer break holiday. And I decided to do that, especially for this one, because I'm trying to do this cookout and we don't have time for work to be getting in the way. So yeah, they have summer break. It starts not tomorrow or not when they wake up in the morning, but the next day. So it's right now, they're just working on tasks for work. Jacob is... I don't know, he's great in papers or something. I don't know what he's doing. But Carissa is working on her charm and charisma so she can talk to the students and the administration better. And then I just wanted to go into CAS to kind of show you a little bit about Jacob. He's completed the academic aspiration for when he was in university. He needed a new aspiration and I wanted it I really wanted it to be the change the world aspiration by Kiara Sims for mods or Kiara I guess her name is just Kiara and then it's Sims for mods I can link her stuff as well but she was in the process of updating some of her mods because some of them broke with the high school years patch and so I didn't have like the corresponding things for the, to do the change the world 
uh, aspiration. So I'm still trying to figure out what his aspiration is. I kind of made it neighborhood confidant in the meantime, in between time. But ultimately, Jacob wants to change the world. He wants to make sims all have the same opportunities and start off in a better place and he's doing that through education so if you have any suggestions for aspirations that he can have be it like in game or if you have any mods that you think will be appropriate for him just let me know in the comments and i didn't give him that many new i didn't give him any new outfits except for this first one so yeah that is his cast. And then here is Carissa, which is super cute. I think, yeah, I think I changed just her summer outfit because it was glitching due to the update. And, you know, she is, her aspiration is to have a soulmate. And I don't, I don't know. Her and Jacob have a good relationship. So hopefully that works out. They are currently just boyfriend and girlfriend right now. I do not know if they have any plans of getting married or any of that. And then her traits are that she's a genius. I think she likes books. I think that's what that trait is. And she's ambitious. I don't know if she's ambitious. This was an NPC that I kind of made over just to, you know, so I could enjoy playing with her. But I don't feel like she comes across ambitious. But we'll see. Well, let's just get back to the gameplay because this has nothing to do with the scenario. And neither does this. But I just wanted to show you their work outfits. So they're going to go to the to to the work to the university for the last day of the semester and then it's time to get this cookout scenario popping look at that end of the semester and and jacob has been promoted to adjunct professor previously he was a lead lecturer but also why i'm showing this is just to show you that there is an ice cream shop right next to their house and i just feel like that's very idyllic so Jacob was excited to be promoted, but he also was tense and happy to have this time off. And so he is going to use some of this time to go fishing. Oh, look at Judith Ward, even though I created a better Judith Ward. Just saying. And that's linked as well. And if it's not, I can link it. It's, it's in my playlist of creative some videos. But yeah, so Jacob decided to go fishing. That is part of the cookout requirements to catch a fish and fry it up. And he knows nothing about fishing, but I feel like it's kind of up Jacob's alley. So he went out to Willow Creek, which is not that far from Newcrest. It's kind of, I feel like I think of Newcrest like halfway between Willow Creek and Sandmai. I don't know. How do you organize your sim worlds let me know if someone's created like a map where it kind of shows the distance that would be really cool and yes he likes fishing so i'm glad he enjoys this peace and serenity this looks like a lovely place to fish but he did not catch any fish yet so he decided to take a break and work on creating a barbecue ribs plate which is also part of the challenge so we are just slowly checking things off well not the fishing part because he didn't really catch no fish. But maybe after he gets a good meal, he will be able to catch some fish. And, you know, he's just going to leave this out here to share with everyone else because that's just the kind of sim that Jacob is. He wants everyone to have access and, you know, everybody needs food. And maybe there are some people that don't have a sim lot, so maybe they can find it. And I'm just looking at the cookout list to make sure I'm checking some things off. And I am. And it's really late, so Jacob is FaceTiming Carissa just to let her know that he's okay and he will be home soon. Unfortunately, he's not catching any fish, but he's going to keep trying a little longer. And Carissa lets him know, like, you can go try another spot, maybe this spot is just too difficult it's not enough fish you know you're just learning maybe there's another place to catch some sims and he's just like you're right babe so we're gonna head on home it is officially summer break and i didn't really give them any like assignments for the holiday because we have a scenario to focus on and jacob's just gonna take out some trash but before he heads out to find another fishing spot and carissa's kind of just organizing her notes from last semester so she is not confused when she starts back next year here we are in i forgot what the name of this world is it's from realm of magic and i don't know for some reason i just thought maybe there would be some fish here that we could catch and honestly it turns out that I am wrong so I'm not even gonna have you all watch this for too long he gets better at fishing but still no fish so this is quite the journey for Jacob who doesn't have a fishing skill here's where Jacob got hype thinking he caught a 
something, but he did not. It's not treasure. It is just some trash. And we sent it to the metal scrappers. Yeah. So not to be deterred, Jacob decided that he wants to go to Brindleton Bay. But it is raining in Brindleton Bay. So we had to pick him up a raining looking outfit. So we got him this hat. So this looks like a fishing hat, right? I don't, I don't really know. But yeah, we got him this hat and this outfit that looks appropriate for rain. And he is not deterred. Like this... This is pretty serious rain that he's out here dealing with. And so he is hoping that he can catch a fish here because Brindleton Bay is a seaport town, like a port town. And hopefully, like, if people are catching fish and selling it, and this is, like, the foundation of economics in Brindleton Bay, then hopefully this can work for him. And I think the mayor in the save file set up something where you know, the water is good for fishing because he knows that that's very important to Brindleton Bay. The mayor actually lives here in Brindleton Bay. And if you want to learn more about that, watch the Founders Save File Challenge playlist. And while I was rambling, you can see if you watch the screen that Jacob has caught a fish. He's feeling good about himself. He has checked off something else for the scenario. And it seems like a decent fish. So he is headed home to grill it now. He has already showered and got all the like rain and stuff off of him. And of course, it looks beautiful here in Newcrest. And so he is going to grill this fish up. And I think this is where things go left. Yeah, I think this is where the scenario starts to go left. So he's here grilling. As you saw, when he made the barbecue plate, it was fine. Worked out great. No problem. But the issue here is that when he makes this fried fish, as lovely as it looks, as it read excellent, which hopefully you'll see, hopefully I captured that it read excellent, but it did not count towards his scenario, which was pretty upsetting and disappointing. And maybe, maybe, okay, also that was some of the confusion. It said fried fish, but it did not say fried fish plate. Are those two different things? If you play the scenario, please help me. Like, help me understand, even though I can't play the scenario anymore. Unless I download a mod. Please help me to understand why I did not get credit for this. So this was the first issue. And UI cheats does not work on scenarios. So that also sucks. Because normally, if there was an issue, I would just give myself credit. But, and I couldn't make another one because I didn't have another fish. And... Yeah, I, I'm upset. But like Jacob, I am not to be deterred. So we need to make some friends so we can have a barbecue because Carissa and Jacob don't have any friends yet. So we go to this library that has been recently refurbished here in New Crest. And if you want to know where this build is from, I can link it. But essentially, I kept it mostly the same. I, I guess it's called whitewashing when you like lighten something but I lightened the bricks to kind of fit more and with new crust and then I lightened the windows as well but everything else I kind of kept the same so Carissa and I know you just saw her walk through that door <laughs> Carissa and Jacob are here at the library not only to make friends which is mostly what Jacob wants to do but also because they want to be studious they want to like continue with their research that's important for their work at the university so that is what they are here to do and hopefully they make friends to go to their barbecue. I am just realizing that I accidentally whitewashed the white, like I added in brick on the inside of the library. Just realizing that, I guess I will have to fix that later, but we don't have time for that right now. Maybe Jacob will make friends with this guy. I thought about it, but he is not one of my founders NPCs, so... He's not important. Well, my founders are not NPCs. They're safe. They're people I created and I play with them. So he's not part of my rotational play. So never mind. We don't care about him. Don't be alarmed. We are going back into create a sim. I just want to show you a sim that I am summoning here because only NPCs showed up. And this is Owen Temple. And he is a part of an eight family yeah it's eight of them and I'm not gonna go into all of them there's a whole video on them but you know that's his sister and he is going to the library with his niece 
because his sister, who's a little older, and she's kind of basically taking care of the whole family, that's the sister's husband, and she's like, you need to get a job. Owen has a kid, and he hasn't been the most responsible sim up until this point, but now he has to take care of this child full time, and Owen's like, you need to, Owen, Owen's sister says he needs to go to the library and get a job, and he needed a summer outfit, which I hadn't given to him. Now, Owen's really into style and fashion, like, he's into doing things a little different. He always stands out, and, you know, he just needs to get a job right now until he kind of finds out what he really wants to do. And meanwhile, his niece, Iris, is starting to look at colleges. She is 18. And she's currently in high school. And so she needs to start thinking about college. And so these Sims I had only created because there were so many of them. I only created one outfit for them. And so now I'm giving them summer outfits. And I know you're like, what does this have to do with this scenario? Well, this is also a current household. And this is kind of how I play with my mind a little all over the place. And I told y'all the next video would be longer. So here we are. And so these Sims are going to meet... Jacob and Carissa at the library and hopefully that'll inspire Iris a little bit about going to college she just kind of wants to chill this summer but she kind of get up, gotta get up and start you know figuring out what her life will be like as an adult and maybe a man like Jacob or a sim <laughs> like Jacob will be a good influence on Owen Jacob is super responsible and just very caring and hopefully that'll like kind of rub, rub off on Owen and I was just scrolling a little bit to find Owen a job. Ultimately I decide that Owen will work in the food service industry and I think he's gonna probably be a bartender. Now I'm not sure if this will be like a long-term career or not but we'll see. But again this current household is not really about Owen but I had to give Owen some setup to be involved. And yeah, that's just how I enjoy my rotational play. So this is something that can make your scenarios more fun. I also have a video on how to make your Sims game more fun and I need to do another part because it doesn't really get into gameplay. Owen and Jacob kind of get to know each other and Jacob lets him know like, hey, I'm having a barbecue real soon. I have a nice space back in Newcrest. Owen and his family live in, I believe they live in Willow Creek, which is not too far. And Owen is like, you know, I have some family. I think my brother-in-law might want to come. So I think we're going to stop by and kind of check out your spot. We're kind of new to this area as well. My sister's in real estate. She does a lot of business here. So it'd be cool. Maybe she can stop by, but she's just really busy. And so Carissa is also talking to Iris about school. Iris is not really that impressed. Iris is just like, you know, maybe I just want to go into my mom's business. And I don't know about this school stuff. And Iris is not planning on coming to the barbecue. She's just not interested. But we have done our job. We have done some research and we have made some friends. So next. And it is now time for Jacob to fully actually plan the cookout, not barbecue, cookout. That is the official title of the scenario. And as you can see, my UI is a little broken since the patch that was supposed to repair high school years, they broke some stuff. So I might have to figure that out. And you can also see that I have a lot of events, event mods in my game. And I don't use any of them. I just have them there because maybe one day I'll want to use them. The cookout is an event that you can have in your game once you click the scenario. And so that is what we are going to use to invite Owen over, who was going to invite his family over or his brother-in-law and I end up also doing a club event at the same time because like the people Carissa knows for some reason were not popping up so I end up like Carissa has a book club called It's Lit I think yeah I think I'm so funny but yeah Carissa has this book club and so she invites her homegirls from that and then it ends up being like a nice mix of people. I gave Jacob the grill master trait because I thought maybe that'll help with the barbecue. Another hiccup I realized with this scenario was that because it was a two-person household, it was saying that Jacob hadn't like completed his comedy skill. So I had to cheat up Carissa's comedy skill for it to seem like he has comedy skill because the UI cheats wouldn't let me check that off. And that was kind of annoying because it should have just counted his. I don't see why the Sims, like both Sims, had to have their comedy skill up for this scenario. So 
that is one thing that I hope they fix in future scenarios that like if it's two people it's not confusing and right now Carissa is just taking a shower and yeah this is her it's lit book club so they're coming hopefully that person does not show up broken because that would be unfortunate and so she's just taking a shower and Jacob is getting ready to have people over for this barbecue well it's both for their barbecues and it looks like Chris is excited she is energized for this I always get really nervous with events like I feel like maybe this is not the ideal scenario for me because events just overwhelm me I feel like I'm watching too many people there's too many things to check off to get the rewards are any of you like that like oh yeah I'm making a sim leave she just invited herself in the house I don't I just I don't really like how she she looks so I'm, I'm sending her home so I don't know how Owen ended up in the book club like I don't know how that happened but I will figure that out and Jacob better get to it because people are really starting to show up there's some trash on the ground he has yeah see he can make the fried fish again why was I torturing myself with that like he should be able to make that this is where I start to get a little frustrated and want to rage quit because it's, it's just not accepting me but I just decided like it is okay for my current household to have a nice barbecue even if the scenario was a fail and this did not turn out how I wanted to at all I'm literally rolling my eyes right now <laughs> and I'm looking around in the fridge I don't know what I was doing here like I don't know what I was doing trying to save this thing that didn't work it clearly did not want to work but you know what would be really funny if you told me in the comments that I was doing something wrong <laughs> and it worked fine and I was just slaying the Sims team for no reason. But yeah, he's pulling out his fried fish plate. He's going to make some other stuff. And yeah, we're going to just have a nice time. Okay, it looks like everybody's here now. So we are going to turn on some carnival beats and we have people. We're going to see if ev we're going to call everybody to meal. This is Kansas. She is a single mom who is in Carissa's book club. She's a lawyer. She's pretty smart. And she lives back in Willow Creek. And then I don't know who that chick is, but she's in Carissa's book club. What am I looking for? Oh, yeah, she has to put on her summer outfit. Like, you're not dressed for this hot weather. It's a beautiful day, girl. And some other friends. Oh, and that guy in the red, that is Corey Archer, who is Owen's brother-in-law. And I actually think him and Jacob might be good friends. I think they will be good friends. Now, this is Patrick Harrison, who is an aspiring actor. Like, he's, like, a serious actor and, like, very studied. And he spends his free time reading. Like, he's not really into the Hollywood scene. And he somehow in Chris's book club, too. So, yeah, they all came over. I think this is a good mix of people. I don't know who this other girl with the red hair is, but she seems cool. I don't know who this Sulanese girl is. I think she's from Sulani. Yeah, she's not part of my founders. Like, that is like an NPC chick. See, Jacob really likes Corey, and I knew that would happen. Jacob does kind of really need a friend since he moved to the save file. He used to be very close friends with Brian, who lived in another save file. If you know, you know, watch the old episodes. And I'm glad that he has Corey to kind of hang out with. And I think that'll be a good match. And we are going to send Owen over here because Owen is clearly comfortable with these people. We're going to have him practice making drinks, even though he wants to grab some some popcorn. Chris is going to make some ice cream. And it looks like we are having a good time. We need some more food. So Jacob is over here flipping these flame broiled burgers. And he is level 10 in the culinary skill. And you saw I made him a grill master. So I know this food is banging. And it looks like, girl, what you doing by our washing machine? Don't get kicked out of here. Okay. So this is kind of when I start giving up on the scenario and the whole thing, even though I kind of completed things. But I wanted these Sims to have a water balloon fight in the back of the house. And, you know, Owen looks ready. Everybody's ready. They standing around and they grabbing nothing. They are grabbing nothing. And it, they're, just, they're just literally walking back and forth. And I was so mad, so mad about this. But ultimately, long story short, 
I enjoyed playing this scenario, even though I did not get credit and it failed. I had a good time and I hope you had a good time watching this like mix of fun and hot mess and a lot of storyline. Thank you for watching. Bye.